Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, in today's video, we'll be looking at a very simple question that was asked and it has to do with landscape. So, the question is how do you paint your own landscape and this time he wasn't talking about trees but you know the question is more about painting your own terrains directly in twin motion so we've covered a couple of videos that has to talk about how you can paint trees how you can import trees how you can save things to library but today we're going to look at how you can paint your own terrain more like those kind of kind of landscape directly here in twin motion and the cool thing about this is this actually exists somewhere so if i just simply go all the way back and let's just quickly delete these videos and switch back to this point and i think i have depth of field turned on earlier okay so now press g just to get all these features back so you can see what's happening we want to create a landscape for here all right so for this very small commercial piece we want to create a couple of scapes you know and how we can do this is very, very simple. So if you simply come back here and you say go over to this section, you would see something called vegetation. Now within the vegetation, you may have noticed that you have these two tools here, but then you don't have the tools to simply paint, you know, your own kind of terrain. So this is not possible because this doesn't exist here. So if you want to paint your own terrain, your own landscape, what you need to do is you need to go over to this section called vegetation. So let's just simply go back here. You know go to vegetation and then come to landscape so you can choose between these two kinds of landscape which of them you want to paint if you want to paint the flat one of course you can go ahead and select the flat one and get and start painting or you can select the, you know the rocky grassland and paint with that one so what we can do is we're going to go over here get the flat one click drag and simply drop it directly here and allow twin motion to actually process and get the steering up and running so when twin motion is done with this we can now go in there and sculpt whatever kind of landscape that we want and at the same time we can paint whatever kind of texture that we want to get directly on the landscape that we're looking for so with this loaded directly here just like every other thing that you have in twin motion you can simply find this flat landscape here right so just like everything you have in twin motion you can simply find it here and as it stands with it here it simply means that you can select it you can raise it up you can you know throw it down and it's really cool to just see that you know you have all of these functionalities and things that you can literally play with so with this ready to go what we can do now is pretty simple so we can go in here choose the sculpting tool and we can choose to start sculpting this now if you're not very comfortable with this grassland or with the flat you know this particular uh, flat surface that you have here you can always turn this off it's called the starting ground so you can turn it off so that you can have just the pure landscape if you want to work with this and you can still go ahead and turn it back on so it's totally dependent on what you want to achieve at the end of the day so if you want to have that there of course you can you know have that there but if you don't want uh, definitely you can go ahead and take take it all the way out so let me just move this uh, slightly bit up and see what we have so i'm just going to move this a little bit upwards and about there so now i have this there the next thing which i need to do is to go in and start sculpting so how you can sculpt is quite simple directly from this landscape you're going to see two options the first option is called sculpt and the second option is called paint so with the paint you can go in and paint set uh, several things but with the sculpt you can go in and sculpt whatever thing that you want and you can see the kind of brushes that you have here you can go ahead and experiment with these brushes and these are the alphas that you have so the alphas is what shape that the you know that the sculpting brush is going to take while sculpting so you can go in take up these alphas and at the same time you can choose you know any of the alphas that you want choose if you want to actually rise use a rise brush or you want to go ahead and use a dig brush or any of the brushes that you have here you can turn up the diameter from here and you can you know essentially start sculpting so if i come through and start sculpting from here you don't see because we're far off but you can see that the brush is deforming because we're very you know we've started making adjustments to that section so if i just simply come over here and look just a little bit you can start seeing all of these changes that uh you know we're creating so i can go in here paint whatever i want let's say i want all of these places to be a little bit hilly i can paint all of that feature here 
and at the same time let me just simply move this over to this side so at the same time if you want to also go in and paint different shades let's say you don't want them to be green you want to paint some shades you want to you know change the way things look of course you can also go in there and uh, paint with this another cool thing is if you have a pen display you can use a pen display to your advantage like i am doing right now so you can use a pen display to an to your advantage because it kind of you know gives you that liberty of you know, getting exactly what you want some way somehow without just using a very integer like uh flow coming out from your brush so because you're using a pen it has a pressure sensitivity and because of that you make use of more like a float kind of value whenever you're painting so i'm going to select the paint now and at this point you can choose to paint whatever feature that you want here so if you want to paint this you can go in there and start painting this ever so slightly around and you can you know just cruise all the way on top of this so you can do that there and at the same time you can you know simply come through and do this here we can zoom all the way back so let's just simply zoom all the way back hold down shift to get a quicker zoom and then i can also do the same thing around here okay so my uh, advice is whenever you're doing uh, things like this i have actually made the same mistake and i've noticed a couple of people still make the same mistake don't spend time doing things the camera would not see okay so if you're landscaping stuff or you're trying to create stuff and the camera wouldn't see some parts try as much as possible not to spend time you know to do what the camera wouldn't see if no one is going to appreciate that then don't do it okay so now you can once that's done you can now go over get this brush and then you can just simply paint some grasses around here just to get that you know that cool feel of what it is so i'm just going to jump right there and let's look through and see what we have okay so you can start seeing that we're having these grasses right here so twin motion comes up uh, they, they do have very nice grasses so you can see them so you can go in there now and you can paint all of the cool grasses that you want like all the cool vegetations that you want you can now go in there and paint them and you can repeat the same thing for as much as you want you can get some trees you can choose to mount some trees in some places and at the same time you can also do the same thing for some other section so still picking the same grasses so if you don't know about two emotions grasses there are a new set of grasses that uh, the guys from epic has actually included in the new twin motion library so you can go in there and you know you can get them okay so if you want to find those new grasses from here you can always always come over to the grass section and you can click anyone drag and drop it directly here pick it from there and you can use that to actually change or paint how you want things to look so i'm just going to get this now and just put a couple around and that's it so if you want to go ahead and do this or if you're one of the subscribers that have been asking how can this be done that's that's it this is how you do it i would like to see what you guys can create with these features and at the same time if you have questions about twin motion we do have an entire you know section or entire playlist that covers a lot about twin motion how you can actually start building stuff from twin motion from ground to finish and if you have more questions and you think there are things that we haven't talked about you can go as well and put them in the comment section and we'll do our best to get back to you guys so tell me what you think about this in the comments section and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on the notification and if you're new here, it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode or, you know, the next video. And until I see you guys again with the tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.